agony and oh yeah that was good that was quality <laughs> i can't i'll just look over at you you've got a costume on I do. Ant's wearing a costume he's got a wig he's got a skirt which you can't see in the video <laughs> i have been wearing he's the skirt been... i've been wearing the skirt the entire show you never yeah know. and he's got some like wannabe elton john glasses they're they're tinted blue and he's got a couple of earrings on. Ant has always wanted to be an agony aunt, but he hasn't. We've just tried to crowbar his name into it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to see how Ant would do if he was an agony aunt. Yeah. We I have think... some real, genuine questions here from actual real people. I think I'm quite wise. I've got the wisdom. Yeah. And the... you think... Well, this is just to see what I'd say. And you think you could give these people some good advice? I think so. Okay. I'll try. Darcy asks, Why does my husband keep showing me up in public? He makes jokes about me and shouts at me in front of lots of people. I come home feeling terrible. What shall I do? Darcy, thank you for your question. <laughs> Obviously, your husband sounds like a massive... Please don't choose the right word here. A massive ingrate. He doesn't appreciate you, and I'll tell you what. Right, the next time he shows you up, <laughs> you need to do what they did in that advert once, where there's, like, a, a child having a tantrum in the middle of the supermarket, and then the parent, like, does the tantrum as well, and then the kid's just like... Oh, I think oh. I remember that. The kid's just like, oh, okay, I won't do that because you look like an idiot. What, she should just break down in the middle of the supermarket? Yeah. Why do you always shout at me? Yeah, just shout, him, just shout, back shout at him. him louder. <laughs> <laughs> Show him who's boss, Darcy. Bella asks. <laughs> I just keep imagining what I look like. <laughs> you look so... Do I look wise? You sort of look like that camp bloke off Dickinson's Real Deal. Bella asks. I allowed my friend to move in with me six months ago because she hated where she was living. It was a mistake, as now my home is cramped and overcrowded. I don't want to lose my friend, but how do I tell her? That's a great question, Bella. You've always got to start with that. Yeah. Great question. Great question, Bella. And here's a great answer to go with it. <laughs> Wouldn't say that. <laughs> this person, they take everything. This person is a taker. They take everything for free. So what you need to do is you need to give her a trail to follow to the next free place. I think if you lay what, out put some breadcrumbs out, lay the out some and stuff. cheese. Right. Right. And then it goes down the stairs and then round to the back alley where there is a massive mouse trap. Well, like a massive cardboard box which you can just catch her friend in. No, it's, then... it's, it's, it's a massive mouse trap out in there in the open and she will walk straight into it because there's cheese. It's free. Free cheese. She's a taker. She'll she, take, she will take the she's bait. She's all taken, no give. Yeah. Emily asks. Hi, Emily. <laughs> Emily asks, Why did my friends book a holiday that I can't afford? They hate you. Next question. Cat asks, My cat. My boyfriend doesn't mind me wearing his sister's old clothes. Alright. Is it weird that he doesn't mind me looking like his sibling? No, it's not, Cat. I don't think he might. He, he's probably hasn't thought of it like that. No, he's just like, You're wearing clothes. Yeah. Cat. Which just my happened to be. My advice to you is educate yourself. You're obviously an idiot. That is a bit weird, isn't it? Like, his sister might have just given her the... Yeah, yeah these don't fit me anymore. It's just hand-me-down so... Who cares? It's just clothes. Yeah. Get over yourself. Jim Bob asks... <laughs> that sounds like a real name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love with a 22-year-old girl, and I'm nice. 32. Not nice. I bit her neck, but she didn't like it. She felt as though I'm trying to put my stamp on her, but I don't want the relationship to end. Help! Jim Bob. Obviously, you're hungry. <laughs> Maybe your girlfriend isn't the right way to go about this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your girlfriend... I don't think she's very hungry. If you want some chips, go to the chip shop. No, no, you know, this man, will need, this man needs flesh. This right. man's got a problem. Jim Bob, go to KFC, but don't eat your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> the final Promise. line here, don't eat your girlfriend. <laughs> Promise. Wh whatever you do. It's not going to go anywhere if you keep it with your <laughs> girlfriend. You'll just be carrying around a torso and that. Nessa asks... Oh. Read it in Welsh. 
N oh, um, I don't like being put on the spot to do accents. Nessa asks, how can I spice up my sex life? We've been together for two and a half years. Is he bored of just me? Is that all right? That, no, that was a bit of a poor attempt. That was good. I thought it was good. Oh, okay. Cheers. You want to spice up your sex life? Right. Basil? Oh. Ginger? Chinese five spice? That's good. What's, what's she going to do with those? What, is she just going like, to sprinkle them on the bed or something and just, just see if something happens? <laughs> it would be a bit spicy. A bit of cumin on the bed. It's just... <laughs> Here you go. Let's see if that works for us. Is Basil even a spice? Get some turmeric. Go on. Pour a vindaloo on the pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Jack asks... Not Jack? The problem is, I'm ginger. People keep laughing at me for it, and I don't want to dye my hair. I need some advice. You're ginger. I get it. Well, I don't really get it because I'm not ginger. No, because you're blonde currently. I'm currently blonde, so I don't understand what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. But um, I tell you what, if people keep laughing at you, just... You're, you're doing something wrong. You, 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 I know he's what doing something wrong. I know what he's doing. Right. His, his, everyone's always told him, you're strawberry blonde. <laughs> you're not. Just, you're, you're auburn. You're orb no, you're not. Look, if you're on the orange spectrum, you're ginger. The just, orange spectrum. Look, look people are just going to automatically say, no, nah, you're ginger, because they think it's going to annoy you. Own it. You are ginger. Just own it. That's my advice. Have you ever had that? What? Like, any people actually laugh at you for being ginger? Oh, yeah. Like, actually? Right, this, this is a big reveal now, but um, I am actually ginger. Oh, look at that. It was all in disguise. Cool. Is it, it, does it? Does it get the same sort of reaction as being fat at school? Um, like, like, if you're the fat kid and the ginger kid and, you know... Well, I mean, you were both. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so oh, that was really harsh. <laughs> True, but harsh. You're not anymore, it's fine. Oh. 